Hello everyone! Thank you for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today's Canva video request is how to use Creative Fabrica fonts in Canva. So let's learn how to do that right now. So Creative Fabrica is a website where you can get things like fonts, graphics, embroidery, crafts, and more. This does require membership, but you can sign up for free. And they also have freebies, which you can download and use, and that's really awesome. Let's first try to create an account by signing up. So let's click on the sign up button. Okay, I'll just quickly input my login details and I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay, I've successfully logged in or signed up. Yeah, so let's look for fonts so we can download for free. We're going to go to the freebies section um, over here and we're going to select free fonts since we're talking about Creative Fabrica fonts and how we can use it in Canva. So let's choose this one. Okay, we can scroll down and find whatever free fonts we want to use or download. All of these fonts are really lovely. Um, okay, I think this one's pretty cute. We're going to click on this one. And we're going to click on download. And we're going to navigate to the location where we want our new font to be saved in. I'm going to click on fonts here and save it here. Okay, great. Let's go back and let's see what else we can find. This one is also really cute. Let's download it. And save it here. What's awesome about it is that they have about 3,938 results. So you have a lot of free options to choose from. And now that we've already downloaded two examples, so maybe we can go back to Canva now. We're going to create a design right here, just a random one. What about a Facebook post? And we're going to name this one Creative Fabrica Designs. Or just design. Creative Fabrica Font Design. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, now before we can actually upload our font to Canva, um, we're first going to have to extract them since they were downloaded as zip files. So to do that, we're going to go to the location where we saved our fonts over here. And then we're going to create a folder for each of our fonts right here. So the first one is called Brittany. We're going to drag the Brittany font onto that Brittany folder. And we're going to do the same thing for the other one. Okay, we're going to open Brittany first. And we're going to click on it, right click. And from the drop down, we're going to select Extract here. And there you go. We're going to do the same thing to the other font. Okay, now we're ready to go back to Canva. All right, in order to make the text toolbar appear, we're first going to have to add a text box. Just press T on your keyboard to automatically add a text box. Just like that. Okay, and then you can see the toolbar here now. We're going to go to the font selection bar over here. And then we're going to click on upload a font. Okay, we're going to navigate to the location of our fonts. So we're going to upload Brittany first. Let's click on it and click on open. Please confirm the following. 
by uploading my custom font, I acknowledge that I own Brittany Charming or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. Alright, it's been uploaded. Let's try to find it. Oh, here it is. It's under the uploaded fonts category. There. We're going to upload the other one that we had or we downloaded. Upload font. Um, new pose and this one. Okay, and here it is. Okay. And that's how you upload fonts from Creative Fabrica to Canva. I think um, if you upload fonts to Canva, please be mindful of the licensing. And yeah, I think that's it for today. So I'm going to be creating a design using the fonts we um, downloaded from Creative Fabrica and uploaded to Canva. If you want to stick around to see how it would turn out, then feel free to keep watching. Otherwise, it's okay. We thank you so much for watching, and we hope you found today's video of help somehow. You have a great day.